Um, Letter B, it's a good thing to give God everything that he asks for. It's a good thing to give God everything that he asks for. Now, that's a great statement to make. This goes right to the heart of what Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 say. Familiar passage for a lot of us. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, I underline that for a reason, I'll get to that. In view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Uh, To live for God means that we surrender our entire self to him, and we are all that we have to offer. We surrender it all to him. Now look at number three. I underline that part in view of God's mercy because I think that's an important part here. Sometimes we kind of glance over that part uh, in this verse. Uh, In view of God's mercy, if we skim over that phrase without letting it sink in, we're likely to be overwhelmed. God's mercy is the key element of being able to align our will with God's. I'm so thankful that his mercy, <laughs> he, he is so patient and merciful with me when I try to align Phil's will with God's will. And sometimes we don't have that far to go. Sometimes we have like planets apart as far as the will. And so he's so merciful and patient with me when I need those moments because he, he says, okay, Phil, Okay, you are worlds away from what I really want to do in you and through you right now. And so that's his mercy that doesn't strike me down or doesn't nail me or punish me because my will still isn't where it should be. Because I don't know if you've noticed, I could be a real stubborn person. Now I know, I know, I know. Jonathan, sorry to break that to you, but yeah. Just it's kind of embarrassing. You're discovering that now, uh, but uh, and so because of that uh, stubbornness, uh, I often really need God's mercy. I really need God's mercy in trying to become more like Him. 